Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, actually, today I wasn't going to go now because I told you if the video, the previous video is not having good view, we will not go live. <clears throat> and I do not know why actually we don't have a good view. I mean, obviously people don't share, don't care. They just come here for entertainment. And we told you many times, I'm not here for entertainment. Until now, we don't even have 15,000 for the previous video. When well, this one should have at least 150,000. But shame on who, it doesn't matter. Shame will come to those who deserve shame. Today, our topic about, uh, you know, I don't like to talk, to make videos about, uh, about Muslims. But there is a guy, his name is Munthir al-Saqqar. This guy, you know, he is like a bug chasing... Uh, uh, an old man, his name is Zachariah Botros. <clears throat> uh, Zachariah Botros is an, uh, an old man. Uh, uh, he exposes Islam very well. And he is a Coptic priest. And, you know, those Muslims, they chase him like, he's running away from me. Uh, I challenge him. Uh, the coward. I want to show you what I can do. Uh, you know, so uh, this is one of them. <clears throat> His name is, uh, 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 this is a new Zuzu, Munzur al uh, So I left him a comment in Arabic. This guy, he claimed that people run away from him, you know. Uh, and even the, the, the title they have, it's just, uh, you know, like a childish, like they are stupid, you know. Look, Zakaria Butros, Yaqbal al Tahaddi lil Munadara, Hal Yabiru Deekana Hadi al Murra. Zakaria Butros, he accepts to challenge me. Do. The rooster give an egg this time? My friend, don't talk about roosters. Isn't it your God, Allah? He sit in the top of a rooster. I mean, I heard of a cowboy. And you know, they call they call himself a doctor. Suppose he's a doctor in Islam. So I left a comment for him. This guy, he claimed people run away from him. So I left this comment for him. Actually, let me let me see if I can use Google Translation. But you can use Google Translation anyway. So I will translate for you. <clears throat> so I said to him, كفاك كلام عن الشجاعة انتظر انتظر جوابك لا داعي لاختيار الموضوع والعالم بالكتب دائما جاهز دائما جاهز stop talking about bravery and etc I'm waiting for your answer because I already actually I paused for him a comment before said give me your Skype the one is a private of you and let us see how big the challenger and if you don't mind, please put your answer about your Skype in my page so I can see it in the last video I will have. And let us see if the challenge is a truthful or it is someone who is such trying to be proud and it's an empty challenge or it is a challenge of men. Uh, and <clears throat> this is 16 hours ago and now I have zero answer. And here I say to him, Stop saying stupid things, you know, uh, there is no need even to change, like, you know, I changed the topic, uh, you know, the topic is this and the topic is that, and you know, like, uh, no, 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 there's no need for a topic. I want to see how good you are. A person of knowledge, you call yourself a doctor, so a person of knowledge, he will accept and there is no topic, because no topic can surprise him. Only potatoes, they want topic. Because you're not ready, you want to go and search in the internet and print some uh, some lines from here and there. فَيَا يَا مُنْزِرُ السَّقَّارِ رَكَبِ الْعَرَبِيَّةِ إِنْ لَمْ تَكُنْ صُعْلُوكًا وَكُنْتَ رَجُلًا وَتَتَحَدَّ الرِّجَالِ فَهَانَا أَدْعُوكَ إِلَى دَرْدَشَ لَنْ أَقُولَ مُنَاظَرَةً فَأَنْتَ لَسْتَ كُفْأًا بِهَكَذَا إِسْمْ المناظرة بين أشخاص محترمين وليس أشخاص يتكلمون عن ديك يبيض. على ما يبدو أنك مختص بالديكة والدجاج والله أعلم على كل إن كنت رجلا ولست بديكا ولا بدجاجة أعطني السكايب وأنا سوف أتصل والرجل الذي لا يهرب يعني ذكر يا بطرس هرب منك على ما يبدو أن الجميع يهرب منك استغرب ربما من رائحة الدرات على فكرة لا تقبل, لا تقبل صلاتك بعد الدرات 
I'm speaking Arabic for him so he will understand the message in case he do not know, you know, uh, uh, English. But I think he's a doctor, he don't know English, that would be funny. But anyway, if we go to his video, <clears throat> I mean his videos are just bragging about how good, how strong he is, how, you know, he is the same as those guys who, you know, see themselves in the mirror 24 hours, 7 days a week. And the second you hear him for 2 minutes, you will see how stupid he is. And actually today I will give you an example of his stupidity. <clears throat> Hold on. Where is the video? Uh, where is his video? Yeah. So he have uh, this video here. I'm not going to play his video so they don't, you know, play copyright, you know, and the stupidity they have as usual. But this guy, he have a video, it says, <clears throat> how Allah, how Allah, he will punish those who worship the body of Jesus. <clears throat> how Allah will worship those, so how he will punish those who worship the, the, the body of Jesus. And then you know what he do? <clears throat> Just because to show you how low class they are, he is trying to say that those who worship Jesus' body, they are homosexual. <laughs> and in the top here in Arabic, it says, why, why priest in France? They bow down for the rape of 216,000 child. Uh, my friend, just to show you how stupid you are. Yeah, Saqqar. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm going to speak in Arabic and English. Yeah, Saqqar. Yeah, man tatba rasul al mutan. Tatakalama an al irtisaba ya saluk. Either mada hebna ila al YouTube, or hatta fi Google, irtisaba al aima. Mazo fasar, sofanara. انظر يا يا انظر ان كنت باصحاب من اصحاب النظر امام يغتصب المسجد في ش... يغتصب طفل في المسجد امام مسجد ومأزون يغتصب طفل امام مسجد يغتصب طفلا بعد جلسه تحفيظ القران اغتصاب تحت سقف المسجد في سجل تحفيظ القران امام مسجد مهووس جنسيا يغتصب ثمانية فتيات وأربعة أطفال بالمغرب القبض على إمام مسجد بتهمة اغتصاب طفل بشرق النيل محاكمة إمام مسجد في بريطانيا بتهمة اغتصاب الأطفال إمام مسجد يغتصب طفلا بعد جلسة تحفيظ القرآن So I'm just reading news guys about how many imams they are raping children But we don't go to Muslims and say you know what Islam is bad because of those guys you know what I mean? I mean, those are the one who is doing that. Okay, if Islam don't teach raping kids, then we cannot say Islam is bad because of that. But what those Muslims they do, they go and they say, oh, there is a priest who raped kids. Now we prove that Christianity is false. This is how hypocrite, trashy they are. But in reality is, the one who raped kids is Muhammad. Isn't it Muhammad who did rape kids? Alam yakur rasulak rasuluk Muhammad. أول من اغتصب الأطفال في المسيحية إن اغتصب طفلا من قصيص فهو إلى جهنم في الإسلام فهو إلى الجنة وهو خير المرسلين This is the hadith وهذه الضحية عائشة تتكلم عن اغتصابها من المأبون محمد The prophet married her عائشة she said when she was six years old and he had consummated the, the, her, his marriage when uh, she was nine. And then those potatoes, they are talking about raping children. And not only that, in Islam, raping children is lawful. As an example, this is why you will never apologize. Those are the decent priests. They are apologizing for the crimes of someone who claimed to be a priest. For this is again Christianity. And not only that, the stupid idiot, he posts, you know, he is he is using Roman first. This is supposedly Roman first to prove to us uh, what is the punishment of those who do homosexuality. So how you are saying you're stupid? Yeah, yeah, Saqqar. Ala fikra, ma'ana kalimat Saqqar. Kafir, wala anun wa kathib. Sadaqa man sammaka bihad al-ism. Kafirun, wala anun wa kathib. هذا معنى الصقار فكيف تتحدى تتكلم عن الشذوذ الجنسي وعن عقوبة من يعاقب 
لأنه يعبد المسيح جسد المسيح يعني كما قلت أنت ثم تأتي برومان وتقول أن رومان يعاقب أن الرب يعاقب الشاذين بكل هذه العقوبات بنار جهنم إلى آخره وأين العقاب الشاذين في القرآن بنار جهنم؟ فإن كان كلامك صحيح أن القساوسة هم شاذون جنسيا وطبعا هناك البعض كرسولك وسوف نتكلم عن الشذوذ قريبا سوف يذهبون إلى جهنم والنص أمامك ما العقوبة للشاذين في الإسلام؟ So let me translate. So as long he is trying because he is filthy trashy like he is a prophet saying that the Christians they are worshipping the body of Jesus that means they are homosexual which is very trashy stupid statement you know telling you that he is just a street boy he is trying to make a, to, to make a, and the Muslim by the way they worship whatever they say Allahu Akbar brother nobody can defeat you by the way this donkey he is going to go live after uh, an hour from now and guess what I will do I will go me myself to his chat and I will post live on air the channel to give me his Skype. Let me see just to be sure when his uh, life will be. I want to see if this man is a man. It says a premier. Is a premier doesn't mean he is not is not going to be live, but I think he is going to be running the computer. He will be watching the chat, right? You know. I mean, if there is a chat, let us see if there is a chat. Hold on. Yeah, there is a chat. Wonderful. Give me a second. Actually, let me post right away. We have a trailer. And we know what he will do. He will say we have to put conditions. We have uh, you know, uh, to choose a topic, uh, we have to have a moderator. <laughs> I just post a comment in his live chat. Uh. <laughs> But look what happened now. So guys, listen carefully. So this guy in his video now, he just said that the one who worship Jesus, the punishment for those who worship Jesus is in, uh, in Roman. And why? Because when you worship Jesus, the body, you are worshiping Jesus in a homosexual way. That's so smart, man. I mean, look like your prophet Muhammad was an idiot. على ما يبدو أن رسولك كان حمارا ولم يأتي بهذه الفكرة من قبل يا رجل أنت مخترع أنت مخترع الزرة إذا ما ذهبنا إلى القرآن if we go to the Quran we will find that the Quran refute him and show him how stupid he is remember he is saying that those who worship Jesus body I don't know what body we are worshiping. Is it around? وهل جسد المسيح موجود حولنا يا رجل؟ حتى نعبده جنسيا؟ يا صفيق يا طليق يا مضيق يا واسع يا فصيق؟ صعلوك. Let us see what the Quran says about the Christian priest who he is attacking. Okay, let us see. You know, always we, we got them busted from their stupid Quran. Because why would I even throw our jewel under the feet of the swine? وَلِمَاذَا نَرْمِي بِالْمُجَوْهَرَاتِ تَحْتَ أَقْدَامِ الْخْنَازِيرِ 
This is what your Quran says about us, you stupid idiot. From the people of the book, the Christians and the Jews, he who, if you entrusted with a center, uh, uh, cantor, like a great amount of wealth, he will pay it back to you. And there is some of them, they are not. So you, even your stupid Quran says, the Christians, there is a great people between them. Not only that, ya Saqqar, Rasulaka yaqul, wa min ahli al-kitabi man ta'manahu bi qintar, yu'dihi. فَلِمَاذَا هَذِهِ الصَّفَاقَةَ فِي رِسَانِكَ وَقَوْلِكَ يَا حِمَارٌ أنت تشبه ما قال القرآن وشبه به حمار يحمل أسفارا You are like a person the Quran named as a person who carry a donkey who carry books but he cannot read it and that is a great example of you you claim to be a doctor but look like you don't know the Quran in the same time the Quran says that uh, the Quran, the about specifically about the priest, not only about the Christians. So while you are bashing the priest, بينما أنت تسب القصيصين يا حمار هذا قرآنك يمدح بهم فمن هو الصادق سقار أعمى أم محمد أطرش يقول القرآن لتجدنا أشد الناس عداوة للذين آمنوا اليهود والذين أشركوا وتجدنا تجدنا أقربهم مودة للذين آمنوا الذين قالوا إنا نصارى وذلك إن منهم قصيصين ورهبانا وأنهم لا يستكبرون هل تسمع يا حمار هذا قرآنك يرد عليك listen potato this is your Quran saying that verily the most uh, strong enemy among uh, enmity for the believers which mean the Muslims are the Jews and those who they are mushrikeen and you will find the nearest in love to the believers between bracket muslims those who say we are christians that they because among them are priests and monks and they are not proud so this is your prophet making Quran saying that the best, the best of the best are those who they are Christians. Why? Because between them, there is a priest and monks who they are not proud. They are very humble. And you see how proud you are, like, you know, you are the one who can, nobody can debate him, etc. أنت حمار متفاخر وليس لك فخر وإن كنت رجل أنا أنتظر الجواب أعطني السكايب وسوف نجعلك عبرة للعالمين So those stupid people, the Quran, you know, in their Quran saying that we are the best and what make us the best is our priest. So why you are going to the worst which are going to go to hell, as the Bible said in the verse you quoted for us yourself, you stupid. Ya Himor, anta man aatana al ayat alati tunaqid ma qult li anna rumiya or risara ila rumiya tatakalam an il shadina min emsalika so fayad habuna ila jahannam aladina ya buduna jasada wa shahawata wal mal alasta anta musliman li anna katashtahi. ما تشتهي في الجنة ألم يقول القرآن وما تشتهون هل هناك حرمة في جنة الإسلام هل هناك حرمة لاشتهاء الرجل للرجل إذا ما ذهبنا للحديث if we go uh, and let me translate sorry guys I have to make it in Arabic and English and now let us see سوف نرى إن كان المسيحون العرب أو المستعربة إن كانوا فعلا سوف يساعدون وينشروا الفيديو طالما أنه يتكلم عن الشجود الجنسي أليس هذا رسولك يعدك بمجامعة الرجال في الجنة As long he is talking about uh, homosexuality Isn't it this is Muhammad promising them that in the heaven you can have sex with men
Let us see. انظر يا سقار يا كافر يا لعان وهذا هو اسمك وفقا للغة العربية اقرأ يا رجل اقرأ قبل أن يأتيك جبريل ويعصرك ثلاث مرات read before Jibreel come to you and squeeze you three times and no mayonnaise will come to you from you because you are just so dry so this is your prophet هذا هو رسولك الأحمق this is your stupid prophet saying in paradise, there is a market which nothing brought or sold except images of men and women. في الجنة ليس هناك هناك سوق ليس فيه بيع ولا شراء إلا الصور من النساء والرجال. فإذا اشتهى الرجل صورة دخل فيها وإن يعني بمعنى جامعها. ولكن إذا اشتهى الرجل صورة ولكن هذه الصور صور ماذا؟ صور رجال ونساء انظروا يا مسلمين في الجنة هناك سوق سوق دعارة عهر ومسخرة لا بيع فيها ولا شراء أي أنك سوف تشتري ولكن سلعة واحدة مجلات للعهر إلا صور من النساء والرجال الصور للرجال صور للرجال فإذا اشتهى الرجل المسلم الصورة دخل فيها ونكحها يا مناكيح وتتكلمون عن الشذوذ الجنسي يا طراطير So if a man he like a picture of a man he enter it and he eff it and then this Abdul talking about the Christians, there is homosexual, okay? There is a, uh, there is a, the priest in France, they apologize for those who have sex with the children. Al-Masih قال من الأفضل لك أن تضع على تضع في 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 عنقك حجر الطواحين وترمي نفسك في عنق البحار قبل أن تؤذي الأطفال والصغار. أما رسولك فإنه المبجل المعظم ناكح الأطفال الذي اشتهى أسامة وقال لو كان أسامة فتاة ولحس وجهه وفمه مسامة لو كان أسامة فتاة It's your prophet when he saw أسامة أسامة he fall in the floor Oh أسامة What محمد he do? Muhammad, he could not resist the temptation. He said, oh man, if Usama was a girl, I will dress her. <laughs> uh, so Usama fell, uh, stumbled, on the thread of the door and cut his face. The Messenger of Allah said, uh, uh, remove the harm, the blood from him. But it was, uh, you know, like, uh, it coming back, you know. So he started to suck the blood and remove it from his face. Then he said, oh boy, oh boy, if Osama was a girl, oh boy, I would have to adorn him and dressed him until I married him off. وهذا رسولك يا سقار يقبل الرجال والرجال تقبله في كشحه يا صاحب الكشح العظيم صدق الله الكشيح and this is your your prophet you know Playing with the man in a sexual way, and I challenge you to say this is not sexual. I challenge you to do the same. Just make a video about it. In كنت يا سقار تعتقد أن هذا الحديث لا يطعن بمحمد بأنه شاذ جنسيا. أتحداك أن تقوم بالمثل. أن تأتي بمسلم وتكشف عن صدرك ويكشف عن صدره وتخلعاني الثياب من الأعلى. 
وتتمحك بصدره كما تتمحك العنزة بالبعير صور يا رجل يقول الحديث رجل من الأنصار قال ما بينما هو يحدث القوم وكان فيه مزاح بيننا يضحكهم they are laughing they are playing you know فطعنه رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في قاصرته بعود فقال اصبرني فقال اصبر اصبر فقال إن عليك قميسا وليس علي قميص فرفع النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن قميصه فاحتضنه وجعل يقبل كشحه قال آه برافت إنما أردت هذا يا رسول الله <laughs> So this guy is making a video Now we can read the translation You do not need my translation It's in English in front of you So this guy is making a video Speaking about the Christian priests They are homosexual And this is his prophet This is your potato prophet What he, what he did The man he said to him Oh prophet you are wearing a t-shirt a shirt and i am not okay the prophet he said okay and he raised his shirt and the man embraced him and began to kiss his side and then he said this is what i wanted O messenger of allah هل هذا هو تصرف الرجال ام هذا تصرف رجل بلا بنطال هل تسمع يا سقار يا ثرثار if this is a behavior of a man wearing a pant or a man without panties. Hal min hal min mujib? Walam yantahi al anda fi al hadith. ولكن ماذا عن القرآن؟ بل نذهب إلى القرآن تذكروا أنه ذكر لنا رومان Remember he mentioned to us Roman ووضع لنا على الشاشة ما يقول الكتاب في رومان Remember he put for us Roman first and there he is quoting for us what is the punishment and you know here it's using translations using the word Allah, which is false translation. So it says here that uh, uh, God, uh, 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 you know, those who they uh, do those things, God, he led them for their desire, which is in their filthy desire in their heart. So they can insult their body within themselves. Those who, ex you know, exchange God with lies, and uh, you know we will we will show you the, the verse in, in in english but those who speak arabic they can read it but the same verse in the front of us so my question to the Muhammadan, we have Roman, and let me go to Roman, here we go. In Roman, we have what is God will do with those who go after their lost. Those who go after their lost, what will happen to them? The verses in front of you, I do not need to read for you. من يأتي ويلحق بشهواته سوف يعاقبه الرب بعقوبات شديدة خارقة والدليل أمامك ومن يبدلون ب ب ب ب بعبادة الرب الواحد المسيح الآب والابن والروح القدس سوف يعاقبهم الرب بنار خالدة والدليل أمامك وهذا أنت يا مسلم فأنت تعبد محمدا جسدا وروحا فأكلتم من شربتم من دمه 
وشربتم ماء غسيل ثيابه وشربتم بوله وتقول عن تقولون عنه صلى الله عليه وسلم الله نفسه يصلي على النبي فمن الذي يعبد بشرا وجسدا وتقولون صلي على النبي تصلون عليه وهو ميت الرجل الخارق محمد so they pray on Muhammad they drink his piss they drink his blood they drink the, the water coming from washing his panties and uh, uh, they say Allah and his uh, 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 Allah pray on him and salute him and yet they are saying we don't worship Muhammad if this is not worshiping Muhammad so what is worshiping Muhammad hmm? what's exactly worshiping Muhammad so if we go to the to his stupid video he just get himself busted. أنت بنفسك يا سقار يا ثرثار أثبت بأن الكتاب المقدس ضد الشاذين من أمثال رسولك وأمثالك والدليل أمامك على الشاشة أي أن من لا يؤمن بالكتاب هم الشاذين من أمثالك يعبدون حجرا يقبلون الحجارة ويدورون حول الحجارة ويشربون بول البعير وبول الرسول ودم الرسول وتصلون على النبي وتدعي أنك لست من الشاذين وتدعي بأنك لن تمارس الجنس من مع الرجال والقرآن يقول ولكم ما تشتهون والحديث يقول سوق في الجنة ليس فيه إلا صور النساء والرجال فأين أعجبتك صورة أعجبتك صورة دخلت فيها يا سقار ونكحت الرجل في الصورة عهر ما بعده عهر so if we go to Roman and sorry guys I'm using Arabic and English so both they can get the benefit if we go to Roman let us see what it says and likewise also men leaving the nature natural use of the women burned in their lust one toward another Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves, and you can read the rest. So, what what is the the Bible saying about that? The Bible is saying absolutely. This is absolutely we are against. Now let us go to the Quran and see what Allah He say about homosexual. فلنذهب إلى القرآن وتتحدث عن ما هي عقوبة الشاذين جنسيا يا رجل في القرآن. أمان ربي أمان. So if we go in the Quran, we will find the following. How will and la tathak? Try not to laugh. This is the silly Quran, the book of Muhammad. هذا كتابك يا سقار يا كافر يا لعان وعن اسمك. واللاتي يأتين الفاحش من نسائكم فاستشهدوا عليهن أربعة منكم فإن شهدوا فأمسكوهن في البيوت if, if, if one of you uh, of, of, uh, of women of you guilty of loudness which means having sex together bring four witnesses يا سقور من أين سوف تأتي بأربعة شهود يا منشار يعني أشخص يزني سحاقي وسوف تتصل بأربعة شهود وتقول تعالوا يا أخوة اشهدوا فإني أفعلها So who in the world who can prove such a thing in Islam A homosexual he have to call Hello? Yes? Uh, who? Yes please can you send us four witnesses? Yes blazer You have to send us four witnesses okay Because we are doing it <laughs> And المضحك بأن محمد قال كالقلم في المك في المكحلة محمد he said which make more more funny that you have to see the penis going in and out but those are lesbians so what we will see let me drink some coffee رسول قال كالقلم في المكحلة هل يثبت هذه الحالة في النساء يا رجل؟ هل هناك قلم وهناك مكحلة؟ 
وأين هي العقوبة؟ تضعهم في البيوت يجامعون بعضهم البعض هل هي عقوبة أصلا؟ أم إنه ترفيه؟ آكلين شاربين ناكحين هي Is it a punishment really or you put lesbian together and now they are having sex all their life eating, drinking and sleeping having sex Where is the punishment? Where is the penalty? وماذا عن الرجال؟ يقول القرآن في الآية في سورة النساء الآية رقم 16 والذان يأتينها منكم فآذوهما فإن تابا وأصلحا فاعرض عنهما ما هذا الانفتاح يا رجل ما هذا الانفتاح الجنسي الرجل مع الرجل فآذوهما So guys look at this homosexuality open how, how open minded Allah it says here hurt them like how we can hurt them what does that mean if we go to the interpretation we will find it means you beat them with sandals and insult them what yes brother yes and if when two of you you know did two men did uh, these things like homosexual intercourse punish them both with insult and beating them with sandals hey saqar nadrubu shadeen jinsiyan بالحذاء هذه عقوبة رب المسلمين هذه العقوبة من القرآن يا رجل هناك قصة عن الرجل الذي قال لو أني أعلم من قتل عثمان لنكحته يعني أنا أحاول لأن أن أستخدم كلمات النابية يا صعلوك لنكحته وكان هناك رجلا شاذ جنسيا فقال أنا من قتل عثمان فقام المجاهد المحمدي بوضع الرجل تحته ونكحه نكها شنيعا وقال الشاذ جنسيا من تحته لو كنت أعلم أن نكح قتل عثمان يأتي بعقوبة كهذا لقتلت عثمان ألف مرة. So the story about the guy who the the Muslim soldier مجاهد he said I wish I know who killed Uthman I wish I know who killed Uthman once I said to him what you would do if you know what he killed Uthman he said I'm going to f him f him so a homosexual was there and he said, okay, you know what? I am the one who killed Uthman. So the Mujahid, he put the guy underneath of him and he started ifing him. And then the homosexual, he said from underneath, if I know that this is the penalty of killing Uthman, I would love to kill Uthman a thousand times a day. Tadrubuhu bil hitha ya rajul. Bil hitha. هذه عقوبة الشاذين جنسيا في الإسلام والآن سوف يقتل السقار ويقول يا جاهل لقد قال رسول الله اقتلوا الفاعل والمفعول وهل يعني كيف يقول القرآن اضربوه ويقول الحديث اقتلوه أم أن محمدا أضاف ذلك بعد أن علم ما عقوبة هذه الأفعال في التوراة هذا هو قرآنك كلكم كلكم صحاقيين شاذون تعبدون الله أصلا بسبب الجنس you are all of you you follow this your desire and all of you you worship Allah just because of sex if we take all the sexual promises from the Quran, none of you is a believer. Otherwise, what, what is all this sexuality for in the Quran? Dahman, Dahman, Dhakarun la yanthani, Dhakarun kan nakhla sahuq, Antum man ta'buduna al-dhakara wal-farj. وفرج يسع ذلك 
فحينما يتكلم هذا الصعلوك عن المسيحية ويتحدى هذا شخص يتحدى ونحن نقبل التحدي فهل هناك من مجيب؟ لا نريد موضوعا لا نريد تحديد أعطنا السكايب وسوف أتصل إن كنت رجلا ولا استصل صورا So if you are a man who keeps speaking about people running away from you, people they are running, the Christians are running. Okay, okay, you know, we are running, but forward. So who is a Muslim? He would like to give me his Skype and I will call him immediately. هل هناك من مسلم يذهب إلى هذا الرعديد ويتحداه ويقول هذا الرجل يدعي بأنه مستعد الآن وليس غدا الآن الآن وليس غدا هل أنت رجل والرجال قليل أم أنك ديك يصيح على مصطبة Are you a man who keeps saying that really Christian ran away from you or just uh, this is a fake news like your Quran I'm here. I challenge him. And after 10 minutes from now, 13 minutes from now, he will be live on air. I will go to his life and I will post there. Give me your Skype to call you. So for Adhab, Ila Qanatihi Rasmiya, Wahawa Sofa Yakunu Al Hawa Imuba Sharatan. بعد خمسة عشر دقيقة وسوف أسأله أمام الجميع أن يعطيني حسابه على السكايب وسوف أتصل به مباشرة وإن كان رجل قبل التحدي وإن كان ديكا فقد بعض Do we have any Muslim? Let me open my Skype until we go there to get him busted you see, I don't like to talk to those, you know, kind of trashy people, you know. It's just low class people, you know. And they go after like this old man, Zakaria Botros. And all the Muslims now, they challenge him. Like, you know, challenge him. This guy is a coward. He ran away from me, you know. Okay, he ran away from you. Yeah, we all run away from you. Yeah, the same as Muhammad, he ran from the, his, his family, right? And he... Uh, uh, he asked his Ali to sleep in his bed so he can escape. Have you ever heard of a man, real man? He asked a child to sleep in his bed so they can kill him and he run. What kind of a coward? You ask a nine years old boy to sleep in your bed and look like Muhammad was so short because those people, they will go inside the room and they will find the same size. Nine years old boy and Muhammad are the same height. Hmm. All right. Okay, look like we have a caller. Let us see. تذكروا سوف نذهب إلى صفحته الرسمية ونتحدى. Hello. How are you, my friend? How are you doing? I'm all right. How's your day? Um, my day is so good, man. I have like, I don't know. I don't like to exaggerate, but. Uh, there's an angel, he came to me, and he wanted to squeeze me, and I did break his arms. What do you think about that? Well, that's your personal experience, so... I what, don't... what is your personal experience with angels? I don't have any. Well, can you tell me about the personal experience of Prophet Moses? Are you going to ask me something meaningful, or just something... Something, just it's something. Like, just, just ask me something important. Would have, would have I'm asking you, like an angel, he came to me yesterday. I'm just telling you what happened. I was supposed to die. And then the angel, he came to me and he said, CP, Allah is angry from you. And he decided to take your spirit. Okay. And then I said to him, get lost. It's, uh, I don't believe you, but whatever it is, I don't believe you. So why you don't believe me? Why you don't? Why you don't believe me? Why you don't believe me? It's your experience. No, no. Why you don't believe me? Tell me why you don't believe me. What is the reason you don't believe me? Because I don't have to believe you. 
But what if I am truthful? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't have to, which means I'm in the middle. Okay, you know so I mean? if, what, if you're saying you don't believe me, that's mean you're accusing me to be lying, correct? I said, I don't have to believe you. No, no, I don't. Why, why Muslims always, they have to play the game, like, I don't have to, I, but they will never give me the answer. Either you say, I am, this not going to be true, or say it's true. So why, I don't have to believe you. Okay, I, so what, what does that mean? I mean, it's just speak as a man, man. Do you believe me or you don't believe me? Christian Prince, you... Do you, people watch do you believe me about... or you don't believe me? Why you have to give me a lousy answer like those people are talking about now? Lousy answer. Either you say I believe you or I say I don't believe you. So we talk about important things, please. This is very important. Okay, that's your issue, isn't it? Which we talk about Islam. My friend, I, 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 because I'm talking about Islam now. I was drunk with you. This is, you know, no. uh, uh, you see, I like to be a Muslim. Honestly, 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 I like to be a Muslim. So now you are not helping me. So I'm asking you, an angel came to me to take my soul last night. I did beat the hell of him. Why you don't want to believe me? <laughs> That's not true, you know. Why? Why not? Because <laughs> it's not true. Come on. Why is that true? Why? Why is that true? Give me your reasoning. Christian Prince, let's talk about something meaningful. My friend, please. I am talking about something meaningful. Why it's not true? I want to know the reason. I want to know why you are laughing. Uh, you know, you, you honestly, you you hurt my feeling now. Why it is not true? <laughs> so we talk about something important, please. Uh, this is important. What's wrong with you? How many times I have to repeat? Uh, you know, myself. Okay. okay, to you it is not not to me. Okay, let's talk about Christianity, Islam. That's more important. Okay, we are talking. about Let us go. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Okay. Um, hold on. I, hold on. Hold I, on. What is I, the punishment? No. We are. We were talking about homosexuality. In the Bible, we have many verses speaking about punishment and where people will would do sin will go. What is the punishment of homosexuality? And is homosexual going to go to hell in Islam? Um, the punishment of homosexuality. You know what? Uh -huh. I'm gonna be honest. With, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know that one. Uh... You know. I, I haven't, I haven't actually looked into that one, so I can't really, I can't give you details about it. Otherwise, uh, if I, I will, I will make wrong statements. But what I know is, is in Islam, homosexuality, it's, it's, um, it's haram, it's forbidden. Where it says, where, where it says it's haram. Um. Well, I think the story of Lut alayhi salam. Yeah, this is uh, a story you um, took from the Bible. This is not your no, story. As well, this is not, not your Quran. story. This is not your story. <laughs> but it's in the Quran, isn't it? You saw you copy it, you put it there. The same as seven sleepers and the seven as uh, Alexander the Great. And suddenly, Alexander the Great is a bisexual, you know, and you made him a prophet. Oh, really? We did. Where, where is Alexander the Great in the Quran? Well, it's okay, there. who is the one is your prophet? Is the uh, Dhul Qurnain, the one with the two horn. He is Dhul Qurnain. This is the Roman. This is the, this is the Roman guy. And your interpretation says that he is the one who built the Alexandria city. So let me let us make it. Uh, let us see how smart you are. The guy who built Alexandria city and the city have his name. What is his name? Let me guess. Trump, Obama, Prophet okay. Muhammad. Can I, can I talk, please? Uh, you can okay. you talk, please? Yeah. I don't, I don't know about Alexander the Great that much. Now, some people say Dul Karnain is him. Now, for me, what I know is the Quran took Dul Karnain. Dul Karnain, I believe in. Okay. 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 How, what kind of God? He gave us a name of a guy called him Dul Karnain, the man with the two horn. Is he a cow? What does that mean? So, how we will know who is this guy now? <laughs> Look. Um, Dul Qarnayn, yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, so what Dul Qarnayn mean? What Dul Qarnayn mean? Is that right? The man with the two horn? The yeah, one with the, the horn. Actually, it doesn't right. even say the man. It says the one with the two horn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right. How we can now get, get the identity of this person just by knowing he have two horn? How many people in the world they have horns? Right. So we talk about um, something that will benefit the viewers for Christianity and Islam. Is it, this like, this will benefit because this is about knowledge. So are you saying to me, are you saying to me, your God, Allah, he mentioned that in the Quran and it has no benefit? Are you saying to me, Allah is a stupid, he mentioned something, have no benefit to you? There is benefit there for us. Then why you are saying to me, I'm, let us talk about something, have a benefit? No, I'm talking about... Okay, like, don't talk, you know, the please, you know, you are, you are, you know, making me upset now. I, I will do the same to you, what I did to the angel yesterday. 
I hit him in his. I hit him in his eye, and I I make his. I knock his eye out. Already, you lost your tooth. Open your camera to show everybody. People don't believe me. Can you stop making fun of um, angels, please? Because that's rude. I'm not making fun of angel. Are you saying to me if I beat the angel, I'm making fun of him? No, 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 no. But that's rude. You know that's not acceptable. Why? Why it's, it's rude? Why it's rude? What happened exactly? How I I hit, I hurt your feeling? I mean, you you're a Christian, yeah. You believe in angels, right? Yeah. Surely, if you believe, in yeah, angels, I believe in angels, but not not uh, not Islam angels. Your angels yeah, are, you are said, your you your angels are angel. your angels are fictions. I said Allah, He sent me an angel. Right, Christian Prince. Uh, look, so we so, talk about. Um, so wh why why you keep changing topic? We talk about the angel. You don't want to talk about the angel. We talk about the Quran. You don't want to talk about the Quran. So okay, what? Yeah, because, what, what uh huh. Because um I forgot um that topic about Mary being called the sister of Aaron. I want to talk about that place. I want people. We to talk hear about this already. Son. We talk about this already. Are, are we are we going to repeat that again and again? <laughs> No, no. Let me explain it, please. Because again, one. you want to explain it. So, are you saying to me your last explanation was a big failure, and you feel bad? No, no. Because he didn't let me talk. He didn't let me. Explain we didn't let it. you talk. Always, we are letting you talk. Here we go. Are you talking or not? Okay. Can I? All right. Give me two minutes. Let me explain. Listen, that, listen. Please. You are the two kind. Minutes. Your mic is open, and you keep saying to me, "Let me talk. Let me." Talk. You can talk. I'm talking. You are talking. Nobody is muting you. So <laughs> stop complaining about. Let me talk. You know. I, I think your name changed now, but talking to me, your name from now on is "Let me talk." Because you keep interrupting me. That's so why. what? I have. You can interrupt me too. We are. We are having a conversation. We are having a chat together. We are not. It's like you are not making a speech, and I'm listening to you. No, it's a phone call. Oh. Yeah, at least at least listen to me please okay uh, by the way uh, uh, as long listening to me please is that valid uh, is it true that a muslim he have to listen to his anus when he pray Did you know what christian prince i don't think i don't think you're serious with this uh, are, so are you saying to me your prophet was not serious when he said you had to pay attention to your anus when you pray Okay, if you're gonna behave like this, I'm not gonna engage in conversation. But because simply in the embarrassment, it's an embarrassment. Am I lying? Am I making things up? Um, can you talk? Look, when you're ready, you talk something serious about Islam, Christianity. This is serious. This is serious. Think, Isn't it serious that if you fart, if you fart, Allah will not accept your prayer? Are you saying to me your prophet is not serious about it? Okay, is that what you meant now? Because you didn't make it clear at first. Oh, this is what your prophet says. If you hear it. And you smell it if you hear eye. it and you smell it that means you have to have attention you are praying now and now your ear is going backward to your anus if you hear it and smell it not only hear it so if you fart and you did not smell it you are good to go genius right mm. what right what right mean what do you what do you mean what do you mean right so you you escape all of this by saying right right yeah what right are you listening to me or are you listening to your can i can i ask you a question because so it's you always asking me questions is it can about is it about no. farting no it's about islam christianity i cannot my friend because i my, my my study is about farting when i finished my degree in islam my father he said to me you get degree in farting i get upset by the way but he was right i don't you know? okay okay let me yeah. let me suggest one thing for you please let me suggest one yeah. thing okay i don't mean why don't me and you yeah have a debate where we can have a time to speak you are having time who's holding you no no let's have a debate organized debate me and you yeah where there's, there, no, there's no such a thing a muslim he will never answer a question i have to force my question one thousand times to get the answer so I've you been, can I've do the been. same with me equal rule equal rule my, my friend when you go in the stage when you go in war what do you do you say okay you step there and i step here two minutes for you you shoot two minutes for me i shoot this is not a war this is a joke so this is a debate, yes this is a war debate between the devil muhammad and the god jesus so there is no rules except the rules of engagement okay. which means you come and i come and then the one who win win okay can you call me back when you're ready to talk here yeah? call yes. you back yeah can, God, I can't can allah engage. call you back when you are ready can allah call me back when i'm ready so are you backing down now you know you notice that you cannot go anywhere 
All right, Chris and Prince, when you're ready, when you're ready to talk, yeah, please call me back, yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, okay. Just, you are just trying to run away. It's okay. I understand. No, I mean, if I am in your place, if I am in your place, I will run away too. I will run away too, my friend. You because this is what you want. You want to talk about specific thing because you notice that everything else is an embarrassment to you, and you think you think you can make it. You you think you can make it in one topic only, but it doesn't work and will never work. And here we go. We spoke about the same topic you're asking for for two hours. Just go download it, put it in your channel, yeah. and everybody hear your explanation. Okay, can I talk now? Okay, you can ask me anything, but let me at least respond. Okay, here we, okay, here we go. I'm I, I'm asking you. Is it okay to beat? No, 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 is it no, no, is it okay? Is it, is it okay to beat an angel? Is it okay to beat an angel? Is it a deal now? If you ask me a question, let me answer. Is it I'm a letting deal? you always answer. No, no, don't interrupt me until I finish. No, I, I have to interrupt you because simply if you say something, I want to make I want to make it clear. If you say a word and I don't know what you mean, by the time you finish, I will forget because, you know, do you know how old I am? I'm very old. I'm like maybe 900 years old. So I'm asking you now, if you are saying something, why it's OK, not OK to say to you, what do you mean by this word? What's, what's the problem with that? I'm not stopping you. Why are you afraid for me to speak? Why? Everybody see who's afraid or not. You know, isn't it you, isn't it you who said that the prophet, when they ask him a question, your prophet did not answer. And this is the proof that he is a prophet. Do you forgot? <laughs> um, no, no. We... <laughs> isn't it you who said that the Jews, they came to Muhammad and they asked him, what is the spirit? You're a prophet. He did not answer them. And that was a proof that he is a prophet what so, spirit sorry what's huh? this what's this story because i, I need you to forgot know you forgot what you said you forgot what you well. said oh no actually not you the other oh, guy yeah, uh, mustafa crazy. mustafa maybe not you mustafa mustafa yeah guys mustafa the other muslim he said that ah. the, when they come to the, to muhammad it's in our channel like just two, two days ago uh, when they come to muhammad they ask him what is the spirit prophet muhammad Police be upon him. He did not respond, and that was the proof that he's a prophet of Allah. <laughs> well, that wasn't me then, is it? That okay, so I, okay, I will give you the same question. What is the spirit? Uh, can I can I talk without you interrupting? Here we go again, drama. Go ahead, man. Are you talking about Ruh, Ruh, Ruh Al Kudus? Oh, oh no, the spirit. I didn't ask. Did I say Holy Spirit? I said the spirit. Okay, well, spirit, mm -hmm. um, the uh, the one that the Ruh Al Kudus, it's um, the one that um, is. That I did not say. I did not say the Holy Spirit. I said a Ruh. Okay, spirit. Okay, okay. Spirit is something uh -huh. that uh, you could. That is something like you cannot see, but they are in existence. Where it says that? No, th th like for instance, jinn. Jinn's a spirit. Uh, no, jinn are not a spirit. You are an idiot. Jinns is not a spirit. You're an idiot. What is it, jinn? Then you ask your prophet, not me. Jinn is made I'm of from fire, and they, they have no spirit. They, they, they are they, not spirit. They, 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 they are not spirit. Hello. Yeah, because you can't see them, they have got their own. No, no. Don't give me an. Don't, don't, don't give me. Don't give me your assumption. Are. Don't give me your assumption. Give me the proof. What are you saying? Is it, is it in the Quran says that genie are the spirit or in the hadith? Okay, Christian Prince, come on, let's just take this seriously. Okay, my right? friend, my I've friend. Got to go. If not, yeah, please, okay. let's just. Just go. Oh boy. Yeah. You know, here, anything you say, this, you see why I have to interrupt you? You say stupid things, you make poo poo, and then I have to pick up your poo poo. No, you have to pick it by your hand. Here we go. You just say it. Don't interrupt me. And what, as you know, uh, the, the, uh, uh, genie or spirit? Who said so? They are not. Give me the proof. Give me the proof, and you are the winner. Let us see if this guy he went live already, so we can tell him. Hey, Abdul, the hero. The one who everybody ran away from you. He, is, he did not go live. It says now, uh, now it says, ah, okay, sorry, I got the time wrong. Maybe he changed it. It says 1 p.m. Okay, we have one hour more. I don't know if I will be here. Anyway, 
Yeah, the spirit, the spirit, you know, the spirit, the spirit, brother. Yeah, the genie are the spirit. Suddenly, the genie are the spirit. And the funny is, he starts saying something we don't see. I mean, look at this. Is that a radio wave? Can you believe it? How those Muslims they give you definition for something you don't understand? The spirit is something we don't see. Okay, what? It is something we don't see. We. That is what the spirit, something we don't see. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to answer us? As you see today, we are asking a question. What is the punishment of a homosexual according to Islam in the Quran? Is it true that you beat them with sandals and if they are female, you put them into rooms in a room alone, having fun? Is it true that your prophet, he promised you to be a homosexual in heaven and there's nothing forbidden in heaven? Is it true that your prophet, he promised you to have little market of magazine, a huge market of magazine, have little books which have images. And when you like the image of a man, you jump in it and have sex with it. Dahman, Dahman. The religion of Dahman, Dahman. Push it, push it. I mean, have you ever even heard of a person? He is a prophet of God. He described how the, the sex will be. Dahman, Dahman, like this. Like you hit so hard when you are putting it in. Excuse me. And this is a prophet of God. Hada Rasulullah. Salaam. Asla'an wa salaun aam. How many here? How many people here speak Arabic? And you know, those potatoes, they go, We challenge this guy, Allah Akbar, he ran away from me. Yeah, the same as all the names in YouTube. We challenge Christian Prince only face to face. They are willing to talk to everybody over Skype except me. Only face to face. <laughs> I don't know why I'm lucky face to face. I don't know. I like this guy now. Okay, are you serious, Christian friends? Are you serious? This is what your prophet said. And you're serious. And you know, the Quran uh, is a book of history. I can give you details nobody knows. Like, so there's a man with the two horns. It doesn't even say a man. It says the, the one with the two horn. What is that? Is that a cow? Buffalo? What What is the one with the two horn? Where he is born, where he live, where he exist, where he was exist. Just that's it. The one with the two horn. What about the tail? Maybe it was a Halloween day. And we know that there's a lot of people used to wear those clothing for war with a horn. So which one of them? I mean, all the Roman they used to do that. The one with the two horn. You can say that if there's only one person, he have such a horn. The funny is, <clears throat> if you read the interpretation for the one with the two horn, they say, that this guy he came to his people and he asked them to believe in Allah and they hit him with the hammer in his head and like boing 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 a horn came <laughs> I mean look look how explanation of the Muslims for the stupid Quran how funny it is so now the guy why he was called the guy with the two horn it's it, it turned to be those are two horn for real in his head brother it's not a horn of plastic they are a truly horn هل هناك من مناضل يدافع عن رسول الله؟ يا عبد المعطي حول. Muslims they drop one after one and the second they call me they claim that I am not letting them to talk. When in fact they are talking, I never stop them. I'm just making a comment. 
your mic is open my mic is open go and see what Muslim they do when a Christian he called they hang up on him they don't let him say anything your channel have zero Christian comment and your countries my friend is the proof zero by hey how many homosexual in Saudi Arabia zero Allahu Akbar zero they ask at the roof how many homosexual in Chechenia he said zero brother what are you talking about there's no homosexual thing here Billah. <laughs> and I bet you that he himself is a homo oh boy <clears throat> If you read my book sex and Allah and you will see how many how many actually even in the hadith it says that every house of the companion of the Prophet including the Prophet have a homosexual in the house the kulli bayt min biyuti sahaba wa fi bayti rasul salam kana hunaka shadhun jinsiyan وليس هذا فقط بل أنهم أصبحوا أئمة المساجد في عهد الخلفاء وعهد الرسول. So look at this. When people they start complain about how many they are, Muhammad he says kick them out from your houses. I remember once actually there's a guy he wanted to prove to me and this is what like you, you have to trap them you know so I said to him show me where you're a prophet against homosexuality so he pick up for me a hadith saying that the prophet he did order to kick them out from their houses and then until he arrived that it says and he kicked out the one in his house <laughs> and right away when he arrived there he did not read it. he hung up you know oh boy <clears throat> you see this is in your the house of your prophet this is the house of your prophet the house of your prophet every house in the city of Mecca have a, 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 a homosexual inside do you see it if we search in the Bible are we going to find a homosexual in the house of Paul or Peter or John or Luke ألا ترى يا رجل أن المخنثين في بيوت الصحابة ورسول كيف كيف ما ذهبت وكيف ما دخلت وكيف ما خرجت أم سلمة زوجة الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم في بيتها مخنث والمخنثون للمخنثات هل هناك من مسلم if there is any Muslim would like to call us as you see the Muslim they drop their faith miserably anyone Look what this guy he after he hang up what he said. You don't want the viewers to hear Muslims talk and explain explaining their point. Shall I play your explanation? Last time you said to me about how Allah he said be and he was. We have it there in full. What are you talking about? I spoke to you for almost an hour. Guys, I don't want you to hear the explanation. Can you believe it? So we give them the microphone to speak for at least like the, the, the day before, almost two hours. So they speak to me live on air an hour, two hours, and I don't let them speak. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Express your explanation. You better open a company. It's called Explanation Express. A Muslim, he can explain. I never heard of one. Isn't it the Quran? Uh, isn't it you who said to me no, you know we're asking about the verses in the Quran he says oh there's the Quran Allah he says that there is no nobody knows what their meaning save Allah look what the heck so how you can explain that he said so Allah he will increase the, the disease in their heart look what the heck so Allah make verses to make you sick 
you as a Muslim, if you remember when we asked this guy about the satanic verses, what he said, go watch it, die laughing. He said that uh, the Quran says, Allah, he take it away, take it off. Okay, but he take it off from where? If he take it off, he take it off from the Quran. He said, yes, exactly, brother, alhamdulillah, Allah, he took it off. But, but look what happened. He took it off from where? And he did read for us that Allah, he throw it in his recitation. So now it become a Quran. And later Allah will take it off. And then we will find the verse after it says, and what shaitan he throw in the mouth of the prophet, Allah will make it a trial and a disease in the heart of those. You know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If he took it away, how that will be a trial and disease in the heart of those who like it? If it's gone, Mm -hmm. Do you see how stupid the Quran? So Allah, He took the satanic verses, and the verse after it says, "No, He did not took it, because if it's out, then how He will make those suggestions which given to Muhammad a trial?" Uh, هل هناك من محمدي يتحدى يا محمد who is going to call us this is what this guy he said to me the video is there it's in youtube he said to me Allah took it away shaitan he threw it in his recitation okay and then Allah he took it away but look what happened now if you read the interpretation, by the way, you will see it took long time for the angel to come to Muhammad's door, say, hey, who is this? Zubril. Muhammad, you opened the door. Zubril, he was waiting for him. He says, Khabibi Muhammad, what you did, Muhammad, what you did? This is not from Allah. This is from Shaitan. Muhammad, he said, really? I did not notice. And guess what? He did not notice that he is worshiping the daughters of Allah because we know what he said. He said, those are three daughters of Allah. Their intercession is a must, which means Muhammad. And not only that, the hadith says, and he bowed down and the kuffar bowed down on all of them. Now they are worshiping one God. But what happened when Muhammad did that, many of the Muslims, they start leaving Islam because now they knew that Muhammad is a hypocrite liar. And in front of us, he says, we should not worship the daughters of Allah. But when he was with the disbelievers, he did worship the daughters of Allah. So when he noticed that Muslims are leaving him, so he said, oh, shaitan, he throw it in my tongue. This is, this is, you see why, how we get him busted? The corrupting art. My friend, why I want to be scared of my own book? Huh? Can you, can you give me a call to tell me why I will be scared of my own book? Well, you can text me in Skype, I will call you. As I know that your Quran is the one scared of my book. Is that true? And your Quran is empty book. There's nothing. All the stories in my book. So even you Muslims, if I ask you a question right now, who is Israel? What do you do? You go and say, oh, Israel is Jacob. Where do you find that in my book? <laughs> Call me and show me where is it? Where is the Quran? There's no Quran. This is a stupid book. Okay, who is Moses? Where he was born? Who is Abraham? Where he was born? Can, can you tell me? I mean, simple question about the basic Islam. You do not know even who is Abraham. Not only that, your stupid Quran says that Abraham, his father, his name is Azar. Look, brother, look like Abraham. He have many fathers, brother. What the heck? His his father name Azar, brother. Which means foolish. Man, the stupid Muhammadans. Muhammad he copy a statement from the from the Aramaic that Abraham he said to him father he said to his father foolish. 
Don't worship idols. So what the stupid Muhammad, including Muhammad, he, you know, he thought, he thought Azar is the name. So the word foolish become the name. Fool, don't worship idols. Have you ever heard of somebody saying, he said to his father, etc. I mean, why you want to name the father in such a way? Like, do he have many fathers? You have to name a person if it's possible to have many fathers. Who is the father of Abraham? And where this story happened? Any Mohammedan? A Muslim in YouTube asked me uh, why Jesus cursed the fig tree. Is he not a uh, all knowing God? Uh, okay. So somebody sent me this question in Skype. Please don't send me a question in Skype. I will block you. But I will let it go this time. So uh, is not he uh, not all knowing God? And they uh, are like Jesus did not know the future. What do you have to say about those things? Okay, my friend, Jesus, he gave us an example of what a fruit tree can be for God, which means a tree which will not give a fruit will be cast into hell fire. This is not about knowing. You know, the disciple described for you what happened. So Jesus, he said, okay, let us go to that tree. Then they arrived at the, the disciple. They do not know what in the, in the head of Jesus they are just a human like us walking with him. So when Jesus arrived to the tree, and this is the description of the disciple, he found that it does not have a fruit. So what Jesus did, he cursed the tree and the tree died. And what he said, that the tree will not give a fruit, will be cast into hellfire. So exactly, uh, this is mean that the whole purpose of this, it was to teach them that you can be a tree with the leaves, but you don't give a fruit and actually even even the the, the story happened when the, the tree will not give a fruit it's not even a season for it so what jesus told us a christian he cannot say that it's not my time yet to give a fruit the story is not about a tree the story is about us as a human the one who say it's not time for me to give a fruit he is going to be cast into hellfire this is why jesus he said you shall know them from their fruits not from their tree you might look a green you might look healthy but you don't have a fruits you are just going to be in hellfire and about knowing the future isn't it the quran says that jesus he can tell you what you hide in your houses so that answer come to them even from the quran jesus can tell you what you hide in your house is not a tree, what a tree have. So when a Muslim he speak about knowing the future and you know he is God, the Quran confirm that Jesus he can tell you what you ate at your home, what you are hiding at your home. And this is in the funny Quran, chapter 3, verse number 49. I can declare to you what you ate and what you store in your houses. Surely therein is a sign for you if you do, did believe. Do you see it? So even the Quran got you busted. And what about Muhammad? Can Muhammad tell us what we hide in our houses? Hey Muslims, Jesus in the Quran says, according to your Quran, that Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses. Can Muhammad tell us what we have in our houses? And a Muslim can answer. <clears throat> Any Muhammad can answer. The answer no. Is that correct, Mohammedans? Do you want to prove me wrong? Hmm?
Look at them. So if no one in the future will tell you who is God, well, that is Jesus. And this is in their book. Is it a moment of silence for the Mohammedan? Do even Allah knew the future? Any Muhammadan can prove to me that Allah he knew the futures. Uh, just to show you how Muslims, uh, you know, say things. Uh, Hassan, he is saying, "Show me, show me which scholar agree with your interpretation." Okay, Hassan, brother, why you don't call me and uh, you saw me? Which scholar don't agree with my interpretation? <laughs> you know, so me, okay, Christian Prince, which scholar agree with your interpretation? I mean, even the verse is so clear. It says, I declare to you what you eat, what you eat at home. I declare to you what you are storing in your houses. And then the Abdul says, Okay, so me, which scholar agree with you? Let us read it slowly. I, the, oh, look, 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 do you see the word I? I, I don't do the same as the Pink Panther, Damburger. Say the Hamburger, Damburger, Hamburger, Damburger, Damburger, Hamburger, Damburger. Okay, 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 don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. So, I, I, I who I Jesus I Jesus declare to you what you ate I Jesus I declare to you what you store in your houses can Allah and Muhammad do the same Mr. Damburger Uh, Mr. Tom Blondie saying, uh, your uh, interpretation of the verse seem to be more okay. Give me your interpretation, guys. I'm not going. I'm not going interpretation. I'm just reading the verse. <laughs> Look at this drama, hey brother sisters. Your interpretation. Your interpretation. The brother visualization. Uh, I'm not giving an interpretation. I'm reading the first session. You give me the interpretation. Who is a Muhammad want to give me the interpretation? I'm just reading the first first session. It says, "I declare to you, I, what you ate and what you store in your houses. No interpretation. You give me the interpretation." Can Muhammad tell you what you hide in your houses? The answer is no. Otherwise, get me busted. Can Muhammad tell you what you ate, which means you have in your stomach, which nobody can see? Huh? Jesus have x-ray, brother? Look, Jesus, he looked in his eyes. Mean, he have hamburger inside. Oh, I have this guy, he, have, he ate five ajwa. Oh, boy. This guy, oh, he have a diarrhea. That is Muhammad. So your answer is very silly. I mean, I'm using your book and now you are in trembling. I'm talking about the figure tree. Well, my, the figure tree, the story is very simple. Jesus is teaching the disciple. I, I give you an interpretation. You don't like it, I don't like it. I mean, look at the stupidity. They ask you about the interpretation. And then when you give them the interpretation, we say you don't like the interpretation. So either Jesus, he did not know the future, and then the Quran is lying, or Jesus, he knew what you are hiding. Nothing is hidden from him. Which one? Isn't it Jesus, he even says who is going to deny him, who is going to give him up, who is going to betray him, what will happen tomorrow? This is Jesus. Isn't it Jesus the one who knows that Elazar is, 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 is dead? And he was many days away from his place, and at that time there's no WhatsApp and and uh, and messenger. 
So you must not be a hypocrite. When you want Jesus, do not know. When you want Jesus, no. It's talking about the present at the time. I mean, that's deep. Guys, this guy, he solved the problem. I guess you would love to see what I have on my screen. I have tons of photo shop i mean sorry a, a screenshot look look at this abdul he squeezed it he squeezed it he searched google you know at lahu akbar and then christian prince is talking about the present at the time okay jesus never said i i will predict thought of what you ate oh at that time only see jesus limited numbers it's just only for that time brother <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to go with you. Where do you get this from? Where it says that this is limited for that moment only. Go ahead. I'm listening. Who is a Muhammadan who want to beat me? Hmm? Go on some coffee. Greek coffee. Yummy, yummy. I'm waiting for you here. You boast. Who is a Muhammadan want to show me? That this is what Allah meant. You see, the Muslims they corrupt their book. The Muslims they corrupt their book. They add things is not in their book. Show me that this is what the Quran meant. That only for that time. That time what? During the lifetime of Jesus, you idiot. So if a guy he came to him the uh, second day, he say his Jesus, you said yesterday you can tell me what is in my stomach. Okay, tell me. So he said, Oh, this is yesterday, not today. <laughs> hey Christian Prince, you said you have knowledge in the Quran yesterday. I challenge you to tell me, show me your knowledge. Oh brother, sorry. I said that yesterday because I know that yesterday only. Today I do not know. My battery is out of a charge. That's what you are saying to me. So if somebody came to Jesus second day or a week after or a year after, he say, hey, Isa, tell me. You tell me you can tell us what you had in your stomach in my house. Tell me. You say to him, oh, that I said that in January 15, brother. I meant in that day only because somebody told me what you ate before you come. <laughs> Oh boy, stupidity is amazing. Beyond amazing, beyond amazing. This is very amazing. Do we have a single smart Muslim? He can give us something useful. Huh? Anyone? Who's next? I'm not saying I'm just asking you to prove it's using continuous actual uh, evidence. A blondie, you know, whatever you say, it's okay, it's okay. You know, especially you are a blondie tome, you know, I mean, what I can say, how you can explain something to you? I mean, you call yourself a blondie tome for a reason, you know, yeah, blondie. Okay. <laughs> Don't try to explain to blondie tome, you will never accept anything you say. And he don't, why you don't call me Blondie Tom? Okay. I don't know which one of you will call me the Blondie or Tom, you know, but I, I'm willing to take Tom, Tom and Jerry together. Are you willing to call me Tom? Or you are just a man with the blonde hair in the chat only? If you call me, you will lose your hair, Blondie. Hmm? Do we have any Mohammedan? <laughs> oh. <laughs> As you see, this is very stupid uh, religion, and the Mohammedan they struggle badly. You know, when they make their statement, actually they are even attacking the religion. They are attacking their religion. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammad and he have the courage and the knowledge? 
Anyone? And by the way, if you read the, the verse that we're talking about the tree of Jesus, uh, you will notice that the tree die immediately. So the fools, they don't notice that Jesus, he can kill the tree by cursing the tree. They notice, oh, Jesus, he did not know there is a fruit. <laughs> I cut a tree in my yard and I chop it to the down to the earth and branches keep coming. I put on the top of it gasoline. I put everything you can imagine just to kill it and the trees keep, keep coming. Keep coming. Jesus said one word and the tree is dead. That is Jesus. Be and it was. Not like your God. He said to Muhammad, read and Muhammad died and still he cannot read. And not only that, Allah, he swear by the fig tree, Jesus cursed the fig tree. The fig tree is symbolic of the sin of Adam and Eve in the Bible. This is why the fig tree is, was chosen for that example. Allah, he swear by the fig. Have you ever heard of a God, he swear by the fig? By the fig. You know, Muhammad, if he heard about mango, he will make a chapter of the mango. Can a Muslim tell me why Allah swear by the fig as long as we mention this? Just curious, why Allah he swear by the fig? Very, very simple question, you know? Any Muhammadan? Chapter 95, verse number the chapter of the fig I mean look at this Allah he named his Quran the chapter of the fig isn't it beautiful if you are in the nation and you have a chapter of coconut what do you think Why we have a chapter of the coconut, not coconut, a fig. Uh, Hassan, why you don't call me? Okay, in front of everybody. What about you call me and let us see if this is what the Bible say and if it's wrong or not. And we can read that it's the same in the Quran. You see, you know, you know, people, you know, Muhammad and they are not brave. They, they, they have a question. I support you with your question. Call me. Read for me the verses, I will answer you, and don't worry about people laughing at you. And then I will show you the answer for that, not only from my Bible, from your Quran. What you what say you? Guys, is, is that a great offer? Isn't this a great offer? Who is a Muslim wanna call me and read those verses for me? If you are Hassan, if you are a shy because you are a girl with the name of a boy you can ask your brother to call me he read the verses i answer them and give you another answer from the quran not only from my book i give you from the quran to show you that you are stupid you do not know how to read who dare and just to show you how silly those muhammadan is if you search in google two seconds you will find the answer and you will find that this is not true Potato. Otherwise, if you are sure, then you call me and you get me busted. Life on air. Do we have any Abdul? Oh, hold on. I think Hassan is calling. Hold on. Good thing, Prince. First of all, my name is Hassan. Zachary Naik, how I know it's you? I, I saw somebody calling me suddenly and I thought this is Hassan. Good thing, Prince. There's no way my parents will call me Hassan. Why, why, you know, why they will not call you Hassan? Hassan means good. Exactly. Because I'm not good. What the heck? So you are not Hassan because you are not... Uh, exactly. So, Zach and Nick, so now do you want to read for me the verses in the Bible saying that animal created first or, you know, can you read it? Christian Prince, first of all, I don't know how to read Hebrew. You do not what? I do not know how to read Hebrew. Okay, how your prophet then 
He swear in the Torah and he says, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee and he do not know how to read it, thee. Good and friends. First of all, Allah, when he put his hand in the Torah, his hand is like a scanner. Like what? A scanner. Zachary Naik, stop spitting at me, man. I'm warning you. One more time you do it, I will break your teeth. Good and friends. First of all, I'm not spitting. When I talk, I talk like this. Actually, my wife, she called me Mr. Thawar. She called you what? Mr. Thawar. Mr. Shower. Well, she got a point there. Exactly. So, when Allah Prophet, he put his hand over the Torah, he scanned the Torah. He, 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 he what? He scanned the Torah. He stop spitting, man. Okay, so he scanned the Torah by his hand. Exactly. What the heck? What a potato religion. So, if the Torah have a contradiction, if the book have contradiction, and then your prophet swear by it, that means your prophet is a stupid idiot. Mr. Shower. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday. We, we missed him, you know what we can do? We are out of, out of customers. Hello? Oh, yeah, hello. Yeah, you know, I have a question. A Muslim asking me a question. And maybe you can answer it. Well, it, as long as you let me talk. I will let you talk. Which one, Allah, which one Allah created first? The animals or the stars? The animals or the stars? Yeah, like, like you know, greenery and animals for, like food for animals and animals. Or the stars, which one Allah created first? Okay, um, look, you know, I I do know Islam, but um, I don't know everything, so I need to go back and look at it. Okay, go yeah? back, go back, and able to respond to you. Yeah, okay, should I wait um, for you here or I go? Um, just let me call you back because I need to check. Because look, very nice, I'm not somebody who's who's a liar, I, I, I don't want to say something without knowing, okay? Yeah, so. Best, it's best to clarify things before I respond to you. Okay? Wonderful. Okay. And yeah. in your way, if you can give me more details, like which one Allah created first, the mountains or the stars, the sky, you know, let us get, get more details and I will be waiting for you. Go ahead. Okay. And then you're going to listen to me. Sure, sure, respond. sure. Okay. And then after that, I can also ask you a question about Christianity. Sure, 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 sure. Okay. Okay. Just give me time. So okay. what was the question again? Mm -hmm. uh, you forgot the question. I mean, how old are you? I just, I just want to clarify. No, 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 no. Honestly, honestly, you see, you must have really. I mean, I called you and I give you the question and I said, okay, give me time to go and search it. And now you are saying to me, what the question again? No, I, I just want to clarify. That's okay, all. the question Please. is, a question is, yeah. can you give me the details of what Allah created first and after? Like that, we have the sky and whatever in the sky, like stars, and we have what is in the earth. So in the earth, there is trees, there is mountains, there is the land, there is a greenery, there is a human, there is animals. And in this in the sky, there is uh, seven skies and there's uh, the there's stars. So which one Allah, like the sun, you know, and uh, there's a planet like the moon. So which one Allah created first in order? That's uh, my question. Okay, so you mean that and the animals, which one Allah created first? Yeah, a human, a greenery, mountains, or which one created first? Or the stars and the planet and the moon in the sky? Okay, um, I'll check it and then right. if I know about it, right. I'll get back to you. If I don't, I'll get back to you and tell you I don't. Okay. But let me let me let me look. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it, it's it's not fair for you to just ask me questions like that. Bam, right. bam, bam, bam. Right, right. It's not fair. You know uh, what I mean? Yeah, not fair. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know um everything in my head in Islam because yeah. you know what I mean. You know what? I don't I don't put anything and and uh, nothing about Islam is my in my head. It's not worth it. You know, I mean I have to keep my head for something valuable. You know, you know the thing. Yeah, I you don't want to die as a non -Muslim. I agree with you. I mean, nothing in your head about Islam. Okay, That's why. okay, okay. I'm waiting for you. I'm waiting for you. Okay, okay. It's not in his head, man. You know, I have to agree with him. I never put anything in my head about Islam. <laughs> I don't want to corrupt my head. Unbelievable. I mean, I saved the memory in my head for something valuable. Sadly, I, I, I have no left more uh, uh, space for memory, you know, I, after reading all the stupid books of Muhammad. Oh, boy. So what the question again? Are you there, Hassan? Are you there? You see, you are the one who brought this to yourself. 
You are the one who brought this to yourself. Huh? You got what you asked for. Have fun. The fun is coming. And now he will go and search Google. Oh, this is stupid. Oh, this is nothing. There's no answer. And look, all the Muslim now, they are trying to find out, by the way. And whatever they say is going to be horrible. <laughs> oh boy. Any Mohammedan? We will wait for our friend here who have the questions. <clears throat> Anyone? We have somebody. Hey, my friend, if you are a Christian, don't call me. I will block you. Don't call me if you are a Christian. <clears throat> I encourage all the Muslims to search for the answer, you know, and I challenge you to give me the answer. We have videos, by the way, of Muslim scholars giving the answer. And those videos are very embarrassing, proving Islam to be false. <clears throat> 